Hey guys, it's the Carlis. Today I'm reviewing the Black Knox deck. When I first got this, I thought it was the White Knox because I'm used to seeing like the colour and then but it was black. But obviously they've done this because if it was black and black, it wouldn't suit kind of the series and the look to them. So it's a really cool deck. We're going to get on to with this. So you can pick this up from Davenport's Magic. Link in the description below. So let's get on with it. It has a black border kind of going around all this black line going around the outside the whole way through. The same with the Knock decks. It has Knock and minimal playing cards with this kind of white look to the box, very simple, very plain. When you open the tab, you see it's plain, plain there, and it's nothing on the flap. And the other knock decks, it's very weird, because they usually have like a, a saying, like from Houdini, or famous magicians, or famous people, kind of like, you know, a, a, a saying, like, my, apparently my friends say that my one is, oh, I'm feeling so fat, because I've probably not eat a lot, apparently, according to them. But, but it, like a quote, basically. And, this is very weird as well because it was brung out, all the knock decks were brung out by the House of Playing Cards, but the House of Playing Cards never sold this deck, but it was brung out by the Blue Crown. But the inside it has a House of Playing Cards cards. I'm not sure how that all works, but it doesn't really matter anyway. It's a very cool deck, this is very different, uh, very standard, uh, but at the same time this is great for magicians. Now with the other knock decks you receive a Two of Hearts, uh, duplicate, I think a duplicate is better than a blank card in my opinion, then you have a House of Playing Cards card, but this is only sold by the Blue Crown, so I'm not sure, maybe they, maybe it was just to promote them, maybe it was just a special deck. You have Joker Joker, uh, identical there, and that's always great. Now the back design, as you can see, is a mark, it is marked by the corners, but you can see that if you type on the YouTube, the Blue Crown do tell you how it's done. It's just, it only tells you if it's a club, a heart, it doesn't tell you the number, it just tells you the suit. It has a white fin border going around, so it's always awesome because it's just very plain and people like that. It's uh, minimal, you know, minimalistic, or I think minimalistic, I think it's called. And we'll move on to the rest of the cards. Now, the rest of the cards are completely standard standard face, standard everything. We've got on the Ace of Spades, it has minimal playing cards. We have the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine, the ten, the jack, the queen, and the king. We'll move on to the hearts. We have the king, the queen, the jack. And see, the reason I'm rushing this one is because. It's very simple, it's just a bicycle standard look to it. You know, it's just standard the whole way through. And then we've got the diamond as well. It's just a standard bicycle thing, it's the standard faces. They haven't done much to this, but it's pretty cool. At the same time, it's very good because it's very plain and this is great to perform with spectators. It looks pretty cool, it reminds me of the mystery deck. It fans it nicely. I would do a, a giant fan, it giant fans perfectly as well. We can do a riffle shuffle. Okay, durable. Okay, we'll do a spring. And it does a spring nicely as well. We can do some handling on the table, as you can see there. We we'll do a double lift. Okay, we we'll do a color change. See, obviously that was an Erdnays color change. But it's just a really, really nice deck of cards. Uh, I'm not sure if you can use this for card string. Maybe, maybe you can. I can give it a quick shot. Maybe we'll see. So it does, it's it's an all right deck. Very cool. Uh, obviously, I'm a big fan of all the detailed decks. It's a very plain but very nice deck that you could use on the streets. So this is a really nice deck that you can get from Davenport's Magic, link in the description below. The reason I rushed this one, uh, or made this a bit quicker as usual, is because there's not a lot to talk about on this deck. It's very plain, very simple, it's just a black back, but it's great to go out and perform with because it looks very standard for the spectator and they won't think anything of it. So it's a really nice deck that you can get from um, Davenport's Magic, link in the description below. If you like this video, why not support the video and the channel by giving it a like. If you want to subscribe, click down there or up there. And if you want to check out the previous video, then check up there. That's it. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hi, all. Thanks for watching that video. As I mentioned uh, for you to like the video, why not like the video? Because it shows me and Davenport's and all the other companies that you enjoy what we're putting out and you enjoy the packs of cards that we're reviewing. You may uh, comment on the video, but then maybe give it a like as well, because it shows us that you enjoy the videos and it gets more people to see uh, the video that you liked, okay? So that's it, thanks for liking the video. If you have liked it, it would be much appreciated. And uh, that's it, and I'll see you guys next time.